the vegetables, got the carrots, some kale, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, then I have my onions, my green, my onions, my green peppers, and my celery, and garlic. I just found out that garlic is really good because I thought maybe I had some worms or parasites in my stomach or whatever. But I understand that garlic is pretty good with that. And um, they're pretty good. Uh, I'm using chicken tenders. Uh, free range chicken. Free range chicken means that the chickens are running in the yard like you remember from the old days. You know, eating and stuff like that. They're not cooped up in a barn and sitting in the cage and their whole life is yeah, and they feed them all kinds of junk. And these herbs that I be using is the oregano and parsley flakes and then I got some minced onion and cayenne pepper. As I don't use uh, salt and all of that. Oh yeah, one more thing. Pepper. <laughs> Get some pepper. And I use uh, olive oil. Okay, the first thing I do is to cut up my onion. Chef, y'all. <laughs> like I really know what I'm doing, right? You know, cut my, my hands off or whatever. <clears throat> hey, you have to remind me, baby, we need some more onions, too. Alrighty. Yeah. No, I don't know how to do it like the chefs do or whatever. This is it. This is just my cooking here. My special ingredients. Now, from what my sweetie pea told me, like when you buy things like your, uh, Green peppers from the store, but shit, uh, not just rinse them off, but we wash them. We actually wash them because those people that be shopping, man, oh god, I tell you. So I watch some of the people. I say, oh wow, you know. And then you know how you pick the stuff up and you look at it, put it back down, pick it up, and look back. There. You know, you got people go to the bathroom, they don't wash their hands and stuff, and they be walking around the store, touching everything and everything, so. Yeah. And that's when a parasite comes in at me. <laughs> yeah, baby, tell them about the lady that was coughing all over everything. Oh, yeah, that was weird. I mean, and I mean, she had a cough like, a dying cough or something. I don't know what it was. And mm -hmm. she was walking all around the store. And she was just standing there coughing on everything she could cough on. I don't yep. know if she was trying to spread germs or what she was doing. But, oh, uh, man. Yeah, so you guys be careful out there shopping. Wash your veggies and fruits. You got that right. Onions, okay, celery. When Jaybird chops his foods up, he chops them up real fine and real nice and 
Not all big and chunky, but just the right size. It's getting ready now, and he's going to rinse the celery off. Really, really good. Yes, we put soap on ours. I mean, it might seem fun, strange to you, but soap washes off like a mild dish detergent. Washes right off, and you don't have to worry about like salmonella or some kind of bacteria on your vegetables, which we all know happens all the time. What's that, my phone? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not mine. Mine's off. <laughs> it's yours. Oh, it's off. Yeah, I know it ain't my phone. My phone don't have them sounds. <laughs> well, I turned mine. I thought I turned it off. <laughs> yeah, but you ladies, it's nice to have a man around the house that can cook, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I have me a real chef. A real chef. I learned how to cook. I learned how to cook by watching my mother. And uh, she didn't use any recipes and all that kind of stuff, you know. And then my first experiences with cooking is when I was in the service. And one in my in my back, right in the closet, I found a uh, hot pot, a hot stove. And some uh, pots and pans and stuff. I went to the commissary and I bought me some uh, some different food. Talked about some rice. Um, what else I had? Well, whatever it was. And by the time I finished cooking, and I looked up, boy, well, my room was crowded. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> boy, the people was in my room. <laughs> See, they uh. Okay, what are we going to do now? Because that food was smelling good. It was. <laughs> it was smelling good. Mm. Yeah, now, Miss Tula had to tell you, my Jaybird can cook really, really good. Okay. I'm, I'm really blessed. To, like I told you guys, I was going to find me my Mr. Right. And trust me, I have really found a great Mr. Right. I wouldn't let him go for nothing in the world. <laughs> oh, yes, he would. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have to cut this in half like that. So try this knife. Yeah, Cook some nice home cooked meals for my my sweetie kid. She a Latin person, and you know, and she cooked all that Latin food and stuff. <laughs> it's good. It's crazy. I keep trying to turn it off so it won't make all that noise. Uh -huh. And it's like it doesn't want to go off. Okay. Well, we rinsed the food really, really good because we like our food nice and clean. Jaybird, yes, baby. talk to us. <laughs> well, yeah, because I get into all this boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, be thinking about, okay, 
what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, what I'm, you know, going to cook and stuff. Because I don't, don't always do it the same way all the time. Variety. Yeah, it's good to experiment. Okay, what next? <clears throat> okay, guys, we're back. The camera had exhausted, so we had to take camera number two up. I got my stuff in the bags like that. I've already washed them and rinsed them and everything. So what are you doing now, Jay Bird? Because you're awful quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cutting up my vegetables, honey. Getting them, getting them prepared for the uh, going pot. Is that enough? I don't think so. I think I need some more. I'll tell you one thing about my baby. She can eat, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, I sure can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the the best part about it is it's healthy foods that we eat. And like, you know, we want to tell you when when you people get older like us, you have to stay healthy. And the way to stay healthy is to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yes, yes. That's true. And like we're telling you, make sure that you wash them and that they're really clean because Salmonella and dirt and stuff from people touching the vegetables out there in the supermarkets and stuff. They really have to be cleaned off really good. Very good. Well, we also have a gym upstairs and we go exercise and get our exercise in or like instead of driving all the time, we'll go for walks, long walks to stay healthy. We uh, take vitamins, we take like vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, biotin, MSM, uh, take the garlic pills, right babe, what else we take? Uh -huh. well, I know one thing, stay away from those multivitamins, tell them why babe. Oh yeah, multivitamins. I really don't believe in multivitamins because um, they tell you you're getting this, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, and all this in it. Do you really know that? When you can get different vitamins, it's, it's easier to know what you're doing. Like you buy a bottle of vitamin D pills, a bottle of iron, a bottle of vitamin C, or the chewable vitamin Cs, and things like that. Then you know what you're getting, the right amount that you're getting. But like, you get multivitamins and one pill is supposed to contain this, it's supposed to contain that. No, I don't trust that. So when you go for your vitamins, make sure you get your vitamins separately. Everybody's system is different. So you go to the doctor, the doctor's got this one, one uh, cure for everything, everybody, you know, but you can't, Go by that, you know, you have to go by your own body. Right. <clears throat> All right, let's see. That's true. Doctors will tell you, oh, this pill will help you this way and that way. But really, how is that so when we all have different sy systems? <laughs> 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 yeah. And you're going to tell me that one pill is going to work in your system and then it's going to work in mine too? No, I don't believe that either. That's why... What we do is we like all natural things most of the time. Unless we absolutely have to take a pill from the doctor, we will go all natural. Like honey, lemon, mm -hmm. um, things like that, black molasses syrup, all natural stuff for the body. It's more healthier for you. 
Yep. Right, Bay? That's right, sweetie. More healthy. All right. So what are you doing, Jaybird? Cutting up some garlic. I like to, when I cut my garlic up, I cut them up in big pieces like this. Mm-hmm. Get them, get them worms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about the worms? Yeah, you guys may think that's funny, but like I'm telling you, every single buddy has worms. You, you, me, everybody. Everybody got their parasites. Every, yeah, everybody has parasites in this world. People might say, oh no, I don't have no parasites. Oh no. Everybody has it. Google it. Do your research, honey. Because we all have parasites and we all have to keep our body cleansed. We can cleanse with teas. There's certain teas out there that help cleanse you out. There's, um, let's see, pumpkin seeds. Well, pumpkin seeds are really not that good. But, like, the teas are good to help you cleanse. Um, garlic and cayenne in some water helps cleanse you out and helps kill parasites. Um, you can even chew garlic. I mean, it's kind of like blue. It might make you nauseated and stuff like that. But I tell you, you will feel much more energized and stuff when you do take a cleanse. And I uh, would say that, like, what we do is we cleanse like maybe once a month, and that's very healthy because in a month's time, look at all the food you put in your system, and you want to make sure that you're cleaned out really good. So. Our advice to you is cleanse once a month. At least. <laughs> yeah, at least. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Any right, Peaches. That's right, Jaybird. Any, any right, any right, girl. That's right, honey. <laughs> Miss Tulancy, yeah, boy, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And like another thing that like I really don't believe in they say eat three square meals a day. I don't eat three square meals a day. I eat like little meals every night. Well, I'm diabetic, so like I have to have three no more than three meals a day, but littler meals. So I'll eat little meals a day and um I watch what I eat. I don't eat a whole lot of sweets. Um, I drink lots and lots of water and as a matter of fact, we have a uh, What is the machine here called baby right here? Level luck. Yeah, a level machine. luck. See that machine right there that big gray machine gray and um Creates a canyon water. Yep Canyon water it right. creates and it's hooked up to our sink right here And um, it's healthy water for your system because that's another way people don't realize our water, even though it's filtered through the city and stuff like that, and you have city water, it still contains parasitic little critters and, and stuff that like stuff. that. All that stuff. Bottled water, the same thing. Bottled water, a lot of times, believe it or not, they just take plain tap water and put in them bottles. <laughs> believe it. <laughs> and people are paying for that. And that can be Google too, and you'll see that that is a true fact. How true, I don't know, but that's what they say anyway. So, I'm not going to really put that out there that that's how it is because I really don't know. Yeah. Oh. Jaybird is moving right along here. He's cutting up cabbage now. I know you guys, bear with us. This is kind of a long video. We'll try to speed it up. <laughs> and if you got the speeded version of it, then that's good too. Yeah, you know what? Hmm? Because I know there's a lot of people out there who likes to cook. They have their different recipes. They like to share their recipes and stuff like that. If you could make a... Uh, a video of your recipe and send it to us and we can put it up on, online for you you know and then you can get to share it with other people so, yeah, just like 
like that. You send it, send it to us. Yeah, and we'll, we'll put the link below. Right, we'll put a link below with a, a address where you can send your little videos of your recipes or your little recipes. Uh -huh. And we'll try to put it up for you. And um, be sure to subscribe to our videos and like if you like our videos and comment below. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you. Now another thing we wanted to talk to you guys about why Jaybird is talking is staying happy together. We stay happy because we uh, like to laugh and clown around together and we do everything together which is so helpful. You know there's some guys out there that don't want to help in the house and do this and that. But my Jaybird, he does everything. We do it together, right baby? That's right. Yeah, we do. We do. And you have to keep that communication gap open. And if you do get in an argument, make sure you don't go to bed angry. <laughs> yeah, laugh it off and live it up. We only have one life to live, right, babe? That's right. <laughs> and the thing about it, 95, 90-some percent, let me say it like that. So a good, nice relationship is communication. Yes, guys, communication. Keep that co communication line tight between yourself and your partner. Yeah. And I know she talking that talk, guys, but you know women, they don't like to communicate. <laughs> they, they like to think that we can read their mind. Ain't that right? <laughs> Ain't it right, no. y'all? Ain't it right? Yeah, they think we can read their mind and they sit up there all pumped up and... <laughs> And everything. <laughs> no, Just we gotta don't. recognize the signs of when something is happening. With them. And stay out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> now, you ladies, I want you to comment below and tell me that's not so. Us ladies are good at what we do, right? It's the guys, right? They always think they know it all, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, gosh. All right. So, I made a mess. Hey. <laughs> but it's okay. Now, that I got all this together, what I do is I saute my vegetables. And all I do is just saute them in the olive oil. I don't put any uh, herbs or spices or anything in it. Because I put the, uh, uh, I season the chicken. herbs and spices in my chicken and then it is a stir fry which means that am I gonna cook rice hmm I should have had the rice done shouldn't I <laughs> if I'm gonna use the rice yeah let me do that and to cook the rice we have this little rice cooker here that comes in handy because the rice cooks pretty fast Maybe like in about 30 minutes, I think. Right, Bay? Uh-huh. And my personal, my personal rice that I like is brown rice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And guys, this meal comes out so delicious. You gotta try it. We will put the recipe for you down below. So that you can try it out. ladies out there have a, a, a man that in your house that cooks for you and likes to cook comment below and let us know and how you like their cooking because I love mine's cooking <laughs> yeah. he's really good yeah Miss Tula had did herself good I know some people like just put water in their rice and just put it on the stove but <laughs> this rice come out of the fields and it's really dirty and, and, and something else too 
you know, it still had a lot of starch and stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. Got See that? clean that stuff off. Yeah. Because that's not healthy for you, all that starch. Especially if you use white rice. Yeah. Nothing but starch. Mm-hmm. Right. Rinse it all, clean it out. Mm-hmm. True. Okay, my baby has diabetes. She's diabetic. Mm-hmm. I am. And I try <laughs> to keep that in mind whenever I'm cooking. Yeah, he makes sure that I eat and that I eat well, too. Oh. Let me fix that. That's the uh, the water machine that I was telling you guys about. Right here, this Candon machine. And it takes care of our water. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Doesn't that look good, y'all? Mmm. And the kale. And then we then mix, it. I mix it up so that it all get oiled down real good with the oil. Get everything, all the vegetables mixed up together real good. Good? <laughs> Ain't it right, baby? That's right, baby. <laughs> oh, the aroma coming up right now. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. Mm, that garlic aroma is going through it right now, and it smells so delicious. Okay. Let that cover and simmer for a little while. And in the meantime, I will get myself cleaned up here and get my chicken ready to go. And as you can see, Jaybird, he looks pretty healthy, doesn't he? <laughs> okay. And that's gonna go in the dishwasher, right? Uh, no. No? Uh, use these again. Okay. Yeah, now remember guys, what we told y'all, if y'all got some nice recipes and stuff you'd like to share, we'd also like to try your recipes. Just make sure that they're nice and healthy and um, you can send them to the link below. We're going to put a link below and uh, you can send your recipes to us there. And, um, and you don't necessarily have to uh, make a video, you can just send us the recipe written. You know, we also post that also. But maybe you want to be a star, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you film yourself doing that. Yeah, because you can that way you can create your own show too. Yeah, so either way, what if you want to post your video, us to post your video, or if you want to just write it out and have us put it up on the screen and, and show everybody your recipe, then do it that way. So you have two choices to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, share. Sharing is caring. Right. Ain't that right, baby? That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Back to this. Oh, it's moving right along. Mm. Look here, y'all. Mm. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. I don't like one and reason I don't. I like the taste of the natural food itself. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people like hiding the taste of food with the salt and sugar and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the natural flavor of it. Yeah, and he's got me in the habit of doing that too now. And I still have to have a little bit of salt in my food because I, um, I'm getting there slowly but surely, right, babe? Yeah, you're doing good. There. You're doing good. Mm hmm Because I used to use a lot of salt, but now I use less, 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 or a lot less. I used to like a lot of sweets. I stopped that. But Jay, Jackie Jaber here, Jackie has to have his cookies. I tell you, this <laughs> this guy Don't get us started with them cookies. is the biggest cookie monster <laughs> that ever was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, now what are we doing over here? Getting the chicken ready. Like I said, I use some chicken tenders and I try to stay with the free range chickens. Chicken that's run around free like nature meant it to be. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I won't be using it all. Then again, I think I might use it all. Mm. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it's not that much. Yeah, use it all. And it's not like those big packs that I usually get. Yeah. And as you can see, I use a lot of paper towels. Oh, he sure <laughs> does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of paper towels. <laughs> and the way I do my chicken is I take this this piece right here, try to get as much as that out as I can. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Where is that you're taking out, baby? The um, uh, that stringy stuff. Yeah, that's yeah all you know, know what it is. when you have like chicken fillet, breast, breast like meat, there's like a stringy thing in it. <laughs> well, we take that we out. We call it stringy thing. <laughs> yeah, see it right there? Right there. We take that out. <clears throat> and plus, I like the way it, way my chicken becomes all. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm, yep. This is going to be so tasty, guys. Oh, yeah. Guess what, guys? Last night, we stayed up and we played uh, the game system. No, we didn't play games last no, night. Man. Yeah, that was the night before. <laughs> we played the game system. And <laughs> I won all the games. <laughs> didn't I, baby? All of them? Didn't I? Yeah, I won okay, them all. Okay, because we didn't play Street Fighter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you won them all. But when it comes to Street Fighter... Oh, he's the boss there. I got. I got to give it to him. He's the boss there. He wins. Unless I'm playing with the little kids, but they beat me every time. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's um, vegetables about ready. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, they're burning up. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it up. Let me wash my hands. Ooh, let me move it just in case. <laughs> Okay, baby. Yeah, no? Okay. Oh, yeah, you got the heat down, huh? I got it, girl. Okay, baby, you got it. Got it. I know it smells good. Mmm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see something here. Yeah, it's good. It's ready. But yeah, I don't want to cook my vegetables until they become wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah I don't a like little, little crunch to it. Mm -hmm. but look at that. That is just right, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get the camera coming clearer so you can see it. There you go. See that? That is just right. Mm -mm -mm. Now I can just set these to the side. Mm. This bowl here. Up here now. Okay. <clears throat> so now Jackie is finishing up the little chicken strips. Mm-hmm. Just get them little stringy things off mm -hmm. of there. Because we really, really don't like that. Plus it makes it, it makes like the meat, like parts of the meat when you're eating kind of tough like, you know, when that's in there. So be sure to try to take all that out your meat. See, and make it just like this. Cut them up into little small pieces. Yeah. Yeah. But I usually wait until after I got them in the pan before I start cutting them up when it gets to start getting done. Alright. Hey, yucky chicken. I hate that yucky chicken on my hand. <laughs> I put all my vegetables and stuff in, in here. She always say I use too much. Yeah. But it always comes out perfect. Yeah, it does. Okay, let me do it like this. Cayenne. Yeah, you didn't tell everybody what you were using. He was using parsley and he was using minced onion, oregano, cayenne, black pepper, 
and olive oil. And then he's going to like saute that down a little bit because of the oregano leaves and the parsley leaves. <laughs> Just like that. I think I'll put a little bit more. Then put some more olive oil in there. Let that all heat up. There you go. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that right, honey. <laughs> Okay. Get this ready. Ready, 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 baby. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's so fine, do line, do line, do line. Bless she's mine. <laughs> do line, do line, do line. Wow, mm -hmm. baby. Yeah. Kiss her holder and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, then go ahead on and put the chicken in. It looks like the. Yeah, it's ready. Mm. This is good. You hear that nice sizzle, y'all? Then I go ahead on and mix it all up and get the chicken season down real good. And the rice cooker is steady cooking here. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, Sally. All right, you spread it out so the chicken can cook even. And now we're Oh, okay. Go ahead and sneeze. Bless you, baby. Bless you, honey. Bless you, girl. I had to move away. <laughs> Yeah. And then spices start to go and sometimes they make you sneeze. Mm-hmm. Especially I use that pepper. Mm-hmm. Yes, Jackie Jaybird is very comfortable in the kitchen, y'all. And he knows what he's doing. Look at that, y'all. See? And at this point, I can start cutting up in little pieces. Mm-hmm. The reason it's cut up is because this is going to be mixed with the vegetables. And the rice. And the rice. And we should be finishing up pretty quickly now. Well, once the rice gets finished, mm -hmm. and I can mix everything up. Mm, mm, mm. All the flavors have marinated together with that chicken. All the seasonings. To give it a nice spicy taste. Mm. And this thing I like too is it's more tasty of the chicken part small. Yeah, with the chicken small, yeah.
really looking forward to y'all's recipes and to watch some of your videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because we know there's some pretty good cooks out there. Yeah. And you don't really have to get on those health diets and all that kind of stuff, you know, because if you know how to, if you cook right, you know, your weight, you your, your weight, you'll be able to maintain your weight if you're trying to lose weight or whatever, you know. Yeah. So not just keep your body healthy. Mm-hmm. But we we will be sure to put Jackie's recipe below for you guys and we hope that you will try it one day, you know, take the recipe down and try it and you know, let us know how you like it. Alright. So I'm thinking that's pretty good. I'm gonna turn it off. And we wait for the rice. So we're going to turn the video off right now because the rice got a little bit to cook yet. And we will come back once the rice is finished and show you the, uh, how to throw everything together with a finishing touch. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, my rice is ready. Let's go ahead on it and get it together. Low battery. Uh, Low battery. Low battery. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Let me hurry up then. <clears throat> All right. It's blinking. Oh, wow. So you got my chicken already. I'm coming over. Alright. Okay, let's go out here with Jaber. See what he's doing. Get my rice pot out. Okay. There we go. Turn the eye back on. To the meat mixture. See the battery? Mm-hmm. As long as we still record. Mm -hmm. Alright, got that mixed up real good. Then put the vegetables in. And then mix it all up in there. Real nice. Okay, we had come back now because the other camera had died out. Now we're back with Jaybird and Jackie. As you can see, now to keep it a little moist, what I do is I add some water to it. Keep it moist while it's finished blending all the flavors together. And this meal will last a couple of days. Yeah, because it's only the two of us. <laughs> and as you see, through Jackie's cooking, we did not like measure things out. He just does it the way he wants to do it, and it comes out. So when you do yours, it'll come out the way you want to do it. But once again, we will put the recipe down below for you. So that you can try it out. So. 
So, and all you do is it, is dish it up in your bowl or on a plate, however you will eat. I always eat out of bowl. I don't know why. I always have, even since I was a little. So, and uh, then commence to eat. Price would be delicious. Okay, that's the end of our vlog today. I hope you enjoyed the show and um, Jackie's meal that he cooked. And it, again, it's called... This is uh, Peaches and Jackie. Our vlog, vlog as they call it. Um, but be sure now, send us those recipes. Especially some videos of yourself making the recipes, you know, so we can share it on our... Uh, on our page. Um, be sure to like and share this video. And subscribe to our channel. Oh yeah, definitely subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, thank you and we'll see you another time. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay.